Europe is preparing for an unprecedented economic downturn. Measures taken to save lives during the coronavirus outbreak have led to job losses. The International Labour Organization estimates it could cost up to 25 million jobs worldwide, though no figures detail how many in the EU. Experts say lessons must be learned from the last economic crisis. We are seeing many governments, including many European governments, uh, pumping a lot of fiscal and monetary effort uh, into keeping their economies moving, into maintaining jobs, into maintaining income. And this is all very good. But we know and the uh, uh, example of the 2008 crisis is particularly instructive. We know that where governments act together rather than one by one in their national settings, well, the impact of what is done is all that much uh, the greater. And of course, in all of this, um, independent workers and the self-employed really do need uh, assistance because they cannot look to an employer uh, to offer protection. Sectors hit hardest include tourism and aviation. Manufacturers and construction industries are waiting to make decisions about layoffs. Meanwhile, some EU countries are seeking to give a boost to the self-employed. Belgium, France, Italy and the UK all offering some form of compensation. Socialist MEPs are calling on the EU to introduce Corona bonds, a shared fund to fight the economic and social effects of the crisis. We have suggested uh, to the Commission and to the Council, uh, together with the European Central Bank, to issue a Corona bond because we have learned from the 2008 and 9 crisis that austerity measures are not the ones what you can really use in a crisis, and especially not now. So what we need now is more liquidity, more money and more possibility in order to keep the economy and keep the people alive. While corona bonds have proven controversial, the EU has said it would do whatever it takes to fight the economic effects of coronavirus. Joanna Gill, Euronews.